Yate bene. Well, actually, it's evening, so yate. <laughs> All right, so today is a uh, special um, video because it's been a while since we've done one about a band and everything. And I'm looking forward to it because this is the metal band. Uh, to me, I think it's a, a new type of metal that has a lot of rhythm and you can really hear the vocals and uh, the power of the music. I've been listening to them in the past couple of weeks. Good stuff. It was recommended by a previous interview from last year. And we all come from the same area. So before I keep on rambling, let's do this. Everyone just hold the mic and then I'll let you guys pass it back and forth. You can just put it up close. Yeah. Yeah, you go for it. Oh, you no, go. I already got it. No, just hold it. So, uh, like him? Yeah, yeah. Like this? <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. Appreciate it. Oh. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. All right. Chuck Haven, Kiani, born for Hanatni. Richard John, Nakai Tene, Bastid Winnie Mine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do I say again? Okay, I'm Arlo. Heshkishni, Etatni. The other two just went blank. Damn it. Damn it. I don't... Hold on. Back to me. Come back to me. Go. We'll be back to me in a little bit. Uh, yeah, I started back in, I don't know, 2006, eight. seven, eight runner. Uh, it, it's, I used to work for a um, hospital. And I kind of came across the term Signal 99. When I looked into it, uh, it meant um, patient and respiratory distress. So a lot of firefighters, they, they used to call that over the air if a patient's not breathing or anything like that. And from what I'm told, they still use it in uh, New York. So every now and then if we meet someone from New York, they, they recognize Signal 99, just the name. Uh, so so that's where kind of like where the name comes from. And yeah. I kind of derived it from like, because the, the way, you know, growing up in Native communities and everything, it's, it's really hard for them to hear, you know, what we have to bring to the table. Yeah. So I kind of see it as a distress signal call. So um, okay. Okay. that's the name, that's the reason for the, the band yes. name. Personally, I don't know. I moved around a lot, but I, I, I settled in probably Four Corners area. I, I would say that would be my base area. Farmington, I, I grew up in Cortez. Okay. Lived yeah, in Farmington, yeah. lived in Shiprock. So yeah, that's why I say it's, it's pretty much my- That's my the reason why there. he talks really bad about my state. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know about New Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Me, I'm from- Yeah, there you go. I'm from Shiprock, New Mexico. Born and raised there for 50 years. 50 years? Yeah. So during my time, I'm a baby. I babysit my granddaughter. Um, so when I first started with these guys, um, I was a driver, stagehand. You know, just helping them travel town to town. So now I'm helping them play bass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm from everywhere, man. All around from Mexico. All over, man. All over New Mexico? Yeah. All right, yeah. Well. Farmington, Kirtland, Two Gray Hills, Little Water. Depends on what relationship he's in, that's what he's saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, no, the real, real reason was Signal 99. This guy's always stopping hearts, man. He's always, always breaking them hearts, breaking man. Breaking them yep. and reviving them. Yep. <laughs> We're actually here playing because this guy's got kids and we're meeting one of his kids here tonight in Albuquerque. So. Oh, cool. All, right. all our stops, we had, he has a kid in all our stops. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> I think we're meeting the next one in, in Window Rock. That's the next place. But right. yeah, yeah. Phoenix. Then, oh, yeah. Then Phoenix. Phoenix yeah. And, and then he has one in uh, South Dakota, Laramie, Wyoming, Salt Lake City, <laughs> and then Syracuse, New York. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and these two are my boys. They don't, they don't really listen to me at all. They think they know it all. They think they, they have life. Real easy. <laughs> but yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> Your sound reminds me of, there's one song I really, really like. I've probably listened to five times so far. It's called Took. Oh, nice, and nice, that's the yeah. one. kind of reminds you of like listening to a blend of uh, psychosocial from Slipknot to a little bit of Megadeth influence with your breakdowns and your interludes in there. Yeah. But with a little bit of, it's uh, kind of a Static X type guitar hits here and there. So what what are your um, main influences on your music? Nice, nice. That's that that was one of the one of the early songs I wrote. <coughs> so yeah, back then I was listening to like a like, like Static X, Cold Chamber, 
um, you know, a lot of that new metal back then. So I used to listen to a lot of that. So so that's where the, a lot of that music was coming from. Yeah. Uh, just because I like like it, you know. Yeah. So you know. Um, you play what you like. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that's where the music was started. Like that new metalish feel and everything. But I, I do like a lot of punk. You know, a group like listen to like Adolescence, Agent Orange, and um, Minor Threat. And, you know, those. You know that that thing. A group listen to those, and then I a group listened to a lot of hip hop. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not not rap, but hip hop. You know, like yeah, Public yeah, Enemy yeah. and all stuff. Like yeah. Like Harris One and like, yeah. Uh, that's a man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cypress Hill and you know, Cypress Hill, yeah. So, so I did recognize it's a few songs you have record scratching going Yeah, through. yeah, and that's just my guitarist, you know, scratching really? stuff. Yeah. So it's almost so, like Tom Morello type. Yeah. Type, yeah, type yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, gotcha. Got Tom can't I, take I all the credit. I taught man. him that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, that's fine, you can take it. I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that's a lot of my influences on all those. I think we recently did uh, Bista. The, was it Bista? Mushrooms in the background. Yeah, yeah the Mushroom Rock. Bista Canyon or Alien Throne? Yeah. Yeah, you guys had a gas mask on. Yeah. Gas mask and your uh, face painted. Yeah, 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 that's the one. Uh, the area I knew from Farmington was uh, like ethnic de degeneration. Yeah, yeah, Billy and those guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, did you guys play with them as well, too? And that? Yeah, we're all butts. I, I know all those guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we, okay. We, 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 we've hung out, we've done shows. Those guys, those are all our bros. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, it's I, funny because uh, we'll, we'll do shows like Denver one time. We're at Walmart, remember? And then all of a sudden we turned, this guy recognized, is that Billy? You know, yeah, for BDT? Yeah, yeah, yeah we ran into Denver, right? Well, because we had a show just right down the road. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice, so nice. so we ran into it. It was funny. It was like just random. So yeah. uh, I've, I've always been single 99. Single yeah, night. and he's played in different bands here. I'll, I'll just. All right, so he has a lot of kids. You have a lot of bands. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's how it is. I have a lot of bands. That is hard. kids there. You guys look. look. He's got to go Man, take the baby hit real my quick heart. in the car seat. Don't lose the mic. I'll be right back. <laughs> he's talking. If he's talking about us, you hear it right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I joined him about what three years ago now. Yeah, so, yeah, something like that. So okay, okay. Yeah, and uh, I was uh, in a group with Tuscan uh, for a while, running that, uh, just jam time stuff like that, and then. Uh, then I was a uh, short run with Paranormal as a second guitar player with those guys, and then uh, the History of Suffering, and I don't know, uh, Zyphoid. There's a couple of the bands, so nice. just kind of here and there, you know what I mean? So, so how did you guys uh, all link up then? Just because you're uh, just all from the same area? We've, we've, I've known them for a long time. Long time, oh, okay, yeah, okay. we've known each other a long time. This so. guy's here, known yeah. Long time. So, where'd you guys go to school, actually? Uh, he went to Cortez, I went to uh, Kirtland. Oh, I went to yeah, Shiprock. I graduated from uh, Navajo Prep. Chief Downs! And these guys, these guys from, are uh, like... Yeah. <laughs> I graduated from UB to UB. So, uh, what, what year? 93 was mine. 93? Yeah. yeah. 05. Uh, 95. 95. Okay. Damn! 1900s. <laughs> Alright, uh, Farmington FHS, Scorpion, 1999. So, okay. <laughs> yep. Uh, any, he's just trying to, he's do, he does anything to take his shirt off, man. Alright guys, stay tuned, we're going to go to the show, and afterwards we'll be right in. I'll just finish out the interview, we'll see you guys later. Oh, no, man. <laughs> yeah, actually we can do the interview afterwards. Alright. We just found this guy, remember, we picked him up uh, by Cuba. It's rough oh. and tough, I'll, I'll say that, yeah, no, like, I mean... Today, t t today, leaving the, the kids, you know, every we've had this month was just busy. And it's rough for this guy because he's actually a personal dancer at home on the res. <laughs> <laughs> uh, calls. 